Stop letting the government take your hard-earned cash by controlling how you pay yourself. Paying yourself dividends instead of a salary means you get to decide what to do with that money and not the CRA. Hi, I'm Dave and I help make Canadian business owners goals a reality with innovative financial advice. When you pay yourself a salary, you have to pay into CPP as an owner and an employee, costing you $7,000 a year. However, when you take a dividend, you no longer have to pay into CPP, $7,000 a year. Keep that money for yourself every year and invest it in building your dream life. The best news is being incorporated offers tax savings way beyond your working years. When it comes to financial freedom and planning for retirement as a business owner, you're in a privileged position. There are much more tax efficient options than simply pulling money out of your corporation and building up a giant RSP like everyone else. Six months ago, we started working with Sarah, who owned a mid-sized contracting business. Unfortunately, Sarah had been using the same accountant since her days as an employee and not much had changed in the way of advice. Sarah was paying herself a salary of $180,000 a year. Now that's an impressive salary, but after reviewing Sarah's personal expenses, we determined that she needed a little under $8,000 a month after taxes to support her ideal lifestyle, which included her annual European vacation and a family trip back east once a year. When I asked her why she was paying herself so much and why she'd chosen a salary, she responded that she had been instructed from her accountant to pay herself a salary and said that a goal of hers was to save as much as possible for retirement. She was maxing out her RSPs. I'm sure her accountant had the best of intentions, but he wasn't looking at Sarah's big picture goals and lifetime tax saving opportunities. We quickly pointed out that there were a few things wrong with Sarah's current strategy. First off, she was taking more than she needed out of her company to live. Number two, she was taking a salary over a dividend simply to be able to build up an RSP. The first issue with this again is when you take a salary as a business owner, you have to pay into CPP for both the employee you and the owner, you again, which costs an extra $7,000 a year. The second issue with taking a salary that large and building up your RSP is you're more than likely going to be paid in a high tax bracket, meaning you are giving half of the RSP to CRA when you start withdrawing it. In Sarah's case, her RSP was already worth 1.2 million and she was planning for another 10 years of contributions until she would unwind, step back from the business and retire. Continuing down that path of maxing out her RSP in 10 years at a return rate of 8%, Sarah's RSP would have been worth 3 million. I'm sure we can all agree that for a retirement fund, that sounds pretty great, but she would have had only half of that for retirement after taxes. That's not the rich life Sarah had visualized for herself, summers in Hawaii and skiing in Europe. RSPs are designed to defer taxes to a later date, but if you keep up the success the way you are, who's to say you'll be making less income at 60 than you are now? As a business owner who is ahead of the game, you'll more than likely have built up different passive income sources, such as rental properties or investments, meaning you're still making a high income at retirement. Suppose you made $200,000 in 2020 and put 50,000 of that into RSP account. The idea is you'll be living off of less in retirement and won't need 200,000 of income, therefore paying fewer taxes per year. But for many business owners, this is not what financial freedom looks like. Unless you're spending less and in a lower tax bracket at retirement, the government wins. The CRA controls how much tax you will pay. Who knows where tax rates are going to go from here? And if you pass away early, your family won't get all of that money you risk losing half of your RSP to the government. To start, you want to pay yourself a dividend and not a salary. This will prevent you from having to pay into CPP and save you $7,000 a year that you can keep inside your corporation and invest however you like. Next, only take what you need to live off of from the company. So in Sarah's case, we recommend she start taking a dividend of $115,000 before taxes. Sarah's retirement plan will consist of her doing the following three things. Number one, taking a smaller dividend, keeping her in a low tax bracket. Number two, selling investments built up in her corporate investment account and utilizing her capital dividend account to flow the tax-free portion of the capital gains out to her personally. 
Lastly, we recommend Sarah invest in a corporate insured retirement plan. Life insurance can serve as a powerful retirement planning tool in two ways. One, because it offers tax efficient way to grow your money and two, because it allows you to take out of your corporation tax free if done correctly. Here's how it works. Sarah invests in a whole life insurance policy that is owned and paid by the company. Sarah is the insured and the company is the beneficiary of the policy. The investments inside corporately owned whole life insurance policies grows tax deferred. Upon retirement, Sarah will use the whole life policy's cash surrender value for a collateralized loan to supplement her income. Click the I in the top corner to get the ins and outs of this innovative tax saving strategy. To conclude, by using the combination of taking a small dividend from the company, making the most of the capital dividend account, and leveraging against the whole life policy, Sarah will have the same amount of cash available for retirement and will save tens of thousands in tax. Suddenly, those six months of the year on the beach and the other six skiing in the French Alps are achievable. A bonus is that if Sarah passes away, she won't have a large RRSP to split with CRA. In fact, the entire life insurance proceeds will pay out tax-free through her company's capital dividend account. CRA won't get to touch that money, leaving more to her loved ones, the people that matter most. Thank you for watching. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when new content is uploaded. If you're interested in learning more, we have another video for you. Click here to take a look.